Hi everyone, Derek Hooper here from The Golf Athlete and I'm here today with Dr. Rob Neal from Golf Biodynamics. I uh, feel very fortunate to be able to have Rob here and also to be able to call him a friend of mine. Uh, I've known Dr. Neal for many, many years and uh, I thought we'd get him along today and get him to tell us a little bit about what he does in the industry. So thank you for joining us, Dr. Neal. Absolutely, Derek. It's my pleasure to be with you and the history is long and deep, you know, going back to the days when I was a university uh, professor back in Queensland. So. Uh, there's uh, been lots of water under the bridge since those days though. So one of the questions that, that I see a lot when I'm, I'm looking online and I'm talking with students is, you know, they're, they're now hearing more and more about biomechanics and, and how it applies within golf. And I know this is an area that you're a specialist in. So I was wondering if today you would share with us, you know, what exactly do we mean when we start talking about biomechanics in the golf swing? I think for the layperson, it's a, sim a, a difficult way of saying technique because basically that's what biomechanics is about. It's looking at technique and there are a whole bunch of sophisticated tools then that you can use to examine technique and they can be maybe as complicated as 3D and force plates and pressure analysis devices but it could be actually some simple things like using video for technique analysis is valuable as well. And so, in, in the true sense of the word, bio means about living things. Mechanics is the study of motion of objects. And so biomechanics is the study of the motion of living organisms. And it, it takes a huge... Uh, range of different types of problems so you could look at cellular biomechanics mm -hmm. so that would be how uh, different fluids are transported in the cells and how pressure is maintained and cell boundaries and things like that that's not where I'm I have any specialization and not what I'm interested in um, right to the gross level where you're looking at full human body movements and that's really uh, where I've spent most of my working life analyzing technique or the movement of different parts of the body and in this particular application to golf is where I, I enjoy doing most of my work. And you mentioned then that there's a couple of different ways that we can measure biomechanics in the golf swing. Uh, could you share with us a little bit about what it is that Golf Biodynamics does and, and how and the equipment that you use to measure the biomechanics of the golf swing? Right. So uh, what we use is 3D motion capture tools. So when you see Lord of the Rings or the Avatar type movies, they, those uh, movie sets are built with... Um, usually markers placed on the body and then they have uh, multiple cameras tracking these markers and they can build a, an avatar or a, a humanoid like uh, object as it moves in space. So in the film industry they put a nice skin over these things so that it doesn't look like the person who was actually moving when they captured the data but for golf we need to have that done in real time so the the graphical um, purity of the model isn't quite as good but we're very interested in the underlying motion of the different parts of the body and one of the best tools that we found to real-time capture 3D motion are electromagnetic systems and we use one that is produced by a company from Vermont called Polhemus and it gives us about the right amount of information at a, a relatively low cost. Now I'm not saying it's cheap but it's it's low cost compared to some of the other alternatives that are around. So the, this uh, electromagnetic system uh, uses the principles of um, fluxing of electrical currents in magnetic fields and if people want to find out about that then they can go and do their own investigations. We use that technology to rapidly calculate the position and orientation of the body segments and by orientation I mean the angles the poses that they make and position is where they are in space so in typically the X, Y and Z directions or for golf it might be the sway, mm -hmm. lift and forward and backward or thrust directions of movement so it gives us a real time model so that we can uh, look at your technique 
but then also uh, one of the really neat parts about the, the real-time motion capture is that you can provide instant feedback and we use obviously visual because there's a visual field but we rely primarily on audio f feedback so that the golfer can uh, get a feel for what the correct movement is like compared to what they're currently doing and that's very valuable from a coaching perspective. Tremendous. Thanks for sharing that with, doc, with us, Dr. Neil. Uh, in a later video, we're going to talk a little bit more about the 3D system and how it operates, as well as how you can use it to help you with your own golf swing. But if you'd like some more information on the work that Dr. Neil and his team are doing, uh, you can find them at Doral in uh, Miami, Florida, and you can also go to golfbydynamics.com. Thanks very much. Thanks for being with us today, Dr. Neil. Absolutely, Derek. My pleasure.